In the beginning of this uh, episode, I'm missing a clip. I'm not sure where it got to, but uh, I was basically just explaining that uh, you're going to blow off the uh, clear coat with a uh, blowgun. Uh, so I figured I'd throw a clip in and let you guys know that uh, although it is missing in the beginning of the uh, um, episode, it is about you know midway through once we get to the roof is pretty uh, good indication of what I'm doing. It just nothing seemed to line up well to be able to fix that. So I figured I'd uh, you know take a video with my dog and let you know what's up. So once you get the clear coat off, you can kind of see all these shiny dimples underneath it. I'm not quite sure what that is, but you can kind of, you can see it. If I get it just right, you can see it in the uh, clear coat before it comes off. So I'm not sure if it's from little chips all over the car or just happen to be where the vapors are pulling up. Uh, this should be waterborne paint, which isn't quite as, uh, stable as others and when you're down to just a clear coat it, or just the uh, base coat it is nothing but pigment really so it can't wipe off on your hands so watch that Okay, we got the hood all blown off. So now I'm gonna hit hit it with a uh, long board and 220 grit to see if we have any uh, highs and lows. Um, we gotta kind of get all these rock chips knocked down. But besides that, that should be it. Uh, there's still a little bit of clear coat hanging around that I couldn't get uh, blown off, but we'll sand that off. But the uh, blow gun really makes it a lot easier to get the bulk of it off. So as you're block sanding, you can kind of see the natural highs and lows that are in this hood that you really wouldn't notice otherwise. You can see where all the uh, ribbing is and stuff like that. Uh, so just try to try to be careful. Don't push too hard. Just let the uh, block float. Try to cover and keep to the curvature. You know, long ways on the curvature, and it should come out pretty good. You see, we got a little bit of a kick up at the back of the hood, so you got to be careful on that too. All right, and here's what we ended up with on the hood. As you can see, there's a lot of white cover or a lot of white showing, but uh, that's okay. Uh, there's a couple spots where I got through the uh, base primer and kind of along these edges. And basically, you try to avoid that as much as possible. But uh, you know, if, if you get a couple, it's okay. We're priming this whole thing before we paint it, anyways. Okay, the process on the roof is the same as the uh, process on the hood. Just start blowing. We still have the same uh, little dimples. You kind of look for them on this uh, edge here. We have them too, so we're gonna have to sand this down. Probably that'll probably have to be sanded by hand, but we can blow off the uh, roof to, to start with.
Okay, so the uh, roof rails wanted to come off too, so I'm pretty much just using the whole logic of if it's going to blow off, you should take it off. Uh, the only real exception is, uh, oddly enough, this back quarter panel, when they uh, sprayed it, they blended, or when it's been repaired before, they blended the clear coat, which is something you should really never ever do, because it'll usually cause a failure where that clear coat's really thin. And you can kind of see it right there, the bubbling, which I thought would come up a long time ago, and it never actually did. Well, uh, <laughs> that stayed put, so we're gonna have to blend that, or, uh, blend that edge down, but uh, chances are this whole side where they resprayed is fine. So, oddly enough, the uh, bad repair saved the clear coat. All right, guys, uh, so I got the uh, clear coat blown off, sanded down, and all that stuff. So this is kind of a slideshow of the progression of uh, primer and paint. Uh, so you can see here, I touched in the primer uh, basically anywhere that it was needed. Um, it ended up being a little bumpy, but uh, got that sanded down after it cured. Sprayed the black on the roof. Masked off what I wanted to stay black. And then I proceeded to uh, start spraying the red. Uh, you can spray the uh, parts that had primer on it first. Try to get some more coverage there. Um, but eventually I just went full saturation on the color. Uh, just made sure I didn't have any ghosting of where that primer used to be. Uh, then once you're done with the red, you can take the uh, masking off the roof and start spraying clear coat. Uh, I just did two coats of clear coat, and uh, it came out looking pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of trash in the paint just from spraying in a uh, garage. Uh, my garage has pretty high ceilings, and that, uh, for some reason, makes the problem so much worse. But anyways, I can buff that out, and uh, she'll be looking smooth and shiny. Uh, subscribe to uh, see future progress. Uh, thank you guys for watching.